I feel like when you doing stuff with God and you doing things on a spiritual level, outside of femininity, bigger than that, I'm, I can't just do anything. I speak things out of my mouth, you speak things out of your mouth, and sometimes we just get in the space of, I didn't think that was gonna really happen. And they really do. So I feel like as we get more comfortable with that and we start seeing how things really do always work out and we see how things really do um, go how we say goes, we have to be more intentional with our words. To just stop talking so much. Because as women, we be having a lot of emotions, as we all know. That's what we do. But the truth of the matter is, in a feminine energy space, especially in leadership, entrepreneurship, business, you have to have a level of emotional intelligence that keeps you thinking ahead. You have to be ahead of the game. Because especially as women, they're, think, they're hoping that we base things off our emotions. You know, they're hoping that we move based off of emotion. And when you don't, you become more powerful. When you're able to master your emotions, you become way more powerful than you will be ever. Because that's number one. I had to check the camera because sometimes it'd be cutting off. But yeah, emotional intelligence is really having a level of accountability that causes you to actively want to help yourself because a lot of us a lot of women okay i'm not i don't want to keep calling this out but a lot of women blame men they they blame the men that attract to them they're attracted to they be trying to talk to them all of this stuff they keep they keep blaming them all the time oh my god da, 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 da. but women we are an attraction point Okay, I want y'all to realize that. Like everything happens because of us. Okay, the men they hear. Okay, cool, right? But everything happens because of us. We birth these men. That's the truth of the matter. You know. So, with that being said, you gotta realize like if you keep attracting the same people, you keep attracting the same man, you keep attracting the same type of business relationships and situations, you have to look in yourself and figure out why is this happening. Because honestly, I ain't gonna lie. When I decided that I was only gonna attract a certain type of man, that this man was gonna have this quality, this quality, this quality, this quality, it was a no-brainer for it to happen. Because I only put myself in the environment that he would be in, okay? And then I, my mind said like, okay, it is gonna be some random, some random dusties, okay? We, we gonna talk about the random dusties, but... That's, that's, I already knew what I wanted. So because I knew what I wanted, I could easily be like, no, we're not doing that. Sorry, buddy. No. You know, like, it was easy for me to easily do it. So when I seen them, I was like, yeah. Yeah, you know, because I already had those boxes in place. The thing is, if you do not plan to have a successful life, if you don't plan to have a successful business, you won't have one. Because if you never plan, So it's just like when you want a certain type of business deal or you want a certain type of client, you have to learn how to attract that client. So it's really like branding a lifestyle. And I hate to always tie marketing and branding into these videos, but it's real life things on a psychological level. It's just like becoming an attraction to what you desire to see. That's it. Becoming the attraction to what you desire to see. And if you can't do that, then you, you're going to have a problem. So you're going to be uncomfortable. <sighs> yeah. You're going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be times where, you know, you're not going to know what's going on. It's going to be different seasons. It's going to be different seasons. And... I really feel like as a woman, you have to just go with it. You know, don't try to fight back. Don't try to go backwards. 
just go with the flow. You want your husband, you want your family, you want the money, you want the, <laughs> you want everything, right? You want everything, right? And you can have it. But what does this person that has everything do every day? What do y'all think is the biggest thing that successful people do every day? They actively are believing in themselves every day. They actively assume that everything is going to work out. There is no doubt. You know, there is no lack. Even if the money looking funny, they trying to figure out what we doing, how we doing it, everybody's calm. You may have a little anxiety or whatever, but when you have a deeper knowing of yourself, who you are and who you are, that is how things are going to happen for you in your business. When you doubt, feminine energy is about subconscious mind. It is about the law of assumption. It is all of these things tying together because you're a woman and you have a higher power than a man does because you have feminine energy. And so when you decide to tap into that, that is when you decide to go to another level. You decide to stop worrying. You decide to stop stressing. You decide to stop trying to control things. Because you don't have the control. God got the controller. Stop, stop expecting people to do things. Expect God to reveal. Okay? Expect the things that you desire, you're going to see because you deserve it. And stop accepting anything less than that. When you get something less than that, but it's, it's like half of that, and you feel like you deserve something more than that, maybe sometimes you may have to deal with that for a minute so that you could be a little bit more qualified. But you have to actively tell yourself this stuff. You got to actively be in the game. You have to actively just be about it. And it's, it's resting. It's resting when you, when you feel like you're supposed to be working. A lot of people don't be understanding. Sometimes, lately, I've been going to sleep at 7 o'clock, waking up at 5. And it's just because this is just a season of rest for me. Like, I've done a lot of work. I've been getting it out the mud. And I have tapped into, you know, this higher level of consciousness where God needs me to think to in this next level. God needs me to be strategic in this next level. And God needs me to be aware. So sometimes an awareness season may look like darkness. You know, a season of transformation or pruning season may look like loneliness. You know, it may look like fear. It may look like God is not looking, but it's just when you feel like you're all by yourself that you're surrounded by God the most. Because God really wants you to look within yourself and become your own friend, become your own best partner. I always say, like, you want to learn to become whole before you go to this last level with a partner. Because I would hate to be with somebody that's still broken, that still have old traumas, that still have old baggage. Like, let's heal together, let's grow together. So in our final season of life, when we on that final season, I'm talking about retirement, because right now we, we get it, we, we to the money. <laughs> but like retirement that we can be whole together and we can enjoy life. So many people get a divorce after a short period of time because everybody's using that other person to fill these holes, to fill the insecurities. Like I, I need him to feel whole and complete. I don't want that. I want to feel whole and complete by myself. And then when I go to this individual, I can love him just as much as I love me because he said that I love me. And when a man sees a woman love herself, that inspires a man to be to love himself. It inspires a man to be more of a man. And a lot of women don't want to be soft. They don't want to let the man be a leader. What is the point of a man if he can't be a leader? Think of the lions or the different animals. They switch roles and the female lion start, thought she was the queen of the jungle. People be looking crazy. It's not natural, okay? It's not natural. That's not what we're supposed to do, but you have to think about the bigger picture. Like, what is what is society been feeding us? 